Is there pressure on you to do something kind of crazy or intense? I hate Halloween. You hate Halloween? <laughs> really? Wow. I loathe Halloween. You loathe yeah. Halloween for that reason that I just described? Yeah. Stephen King is a famous American author, screenwriter, TV producer, actor, columnist, film director, and novelist who's published 61 novels, including seven under the pen name Richard Bachman. He's an author of supernatural fiction, horror, suspense, crime, fantasy, and science fiction novels. Let me also tell you that Stephen's books have sold over 350 million copies globally. Moreover, this author has also written nearly 200 short stories, and most of them have been published in book collections. Stephen has won British Fantasy Society Awards, World Fantasy Awards, and Bram Stoker Awards. Back in 2003, he was awarded the Medal for Distinguished Contribution to American Letters by the National Book Foundation. They're about bringing in fog machines and putting up fake gravestones and everything, and right, I'm kind of right. like, hold on here a second. I'm turning into the Halloween Santa Claus. Right. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Stephen Edwin King, but is also known as Richard Bachman, John Swithin, Beryl Evans. He was born September 21st, 1947 in Portland, Maine, making him 73 at the time of this production. He stands 1.93 meters or 6 feet 3 inches tall. Back in 2014, Forbes listed him at number 82 on its list of Celebrity 100. King's son Joseph published his debut album in 2007. This novel was titled Heart Shaped Box and was optioned to Warner Brothers. By the early 1970s, Stephen developed a drinking problem which plagued him for over 10 years. In 1974, his mother died of uterine cancer. Stephen has written about his severe drinking problem at that time and revealed that he was drunk while delivering the eulogy at his mother's funeral. Let me also tell you that Stephen's addictions to alcohol and other drugs were so serious during the 1980s that he could barely remember writing Cujo. In the late 1980s, this man quit all drugs and has remained sober since. The first novel written by Stephen after he became sober was Needful Things. Stephen, along with his wife, owned Zone Radio Corp which is a radio station group. He's a great philanthropist, and King has revealed that he donates nearly $4 million each year to libraries, schools, a scattering of organizations that underwrite the arts, and local fire departments that are in need of updated life-saving equipment. King and his wife founded the Stephen and Tabitha King Foundation, which is ranked number six among main charities in terms of average annual giving. Back in 2011, the Stephen and Tabitha King Foundation donated $70,000 in match funding via Stephen's radio station to help pay the heating bills for families living in Bangor, Maine. Although Stephen was raised Methodist, the author lost his belief in organized religion while he was attending high school. On January 2, 1971, Stephen married Tabitha Spruce. Tabitha is also a novelist and philanthropist. Together, they have three children, including a daughter and two sons. Moreover, they have four grandchildren. Stephen's daughter, Naomi, is a Unitarian Universalist church minister in Plantation, Florida. She lives in Florida with her lesbian partner, Reverend Dr. Thandika. Owen King and Joseph Hillstrom King are Stephen's sons. Both of them are authors. In 2005, Owen published his first collection of stories titled, We're All in This Together, a novella and stories. Joseph wrote as Joe Hill and published a collection of stories titled, 20th Century Ghosts back in the year 2005. You give nightmares, but you yourself sleep fine. It's more blessed to give than receive, Conan. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing. He was born to Donald Edwin King and Nellie Ruth King. His father was a merchant seaman. Let me also tell you that Stephen's father was born with the surname Pollock. However, he changed it to King as an adult. Stephen's parents married in Scarborough in Maine back in 1939. Initially, they lived in Chicago and moved to Croton on the Hudson in New York. By the end of the Second World War, the couple returned to Maine and lived in a modest house in Scarborough. Stephen was two years old and Donald left the family, and Nellie raised him and his older brother, David. Stephen was 11 years old when the family eventually settled in Durham, Maine, after moving to Indiana, Wisconsin, and Connecticut. 
During his childhood, Stephen witnessed the death of his friend, who was killed by a train. He attended Durham Elementary School and went to Lisbon Falls High School. In 1966, he graduated from Lisbon Falls. As a child, King loved to read horror novels and read a collection of short stories titled The Lurker in the Shadows. H.P. Lovecraft wrote this collection of short stories. King used to write for fun when he was at school and even sold his stories to his friends. In 1965, Stephen's story Comics Review was published. He attended the University of Maine, in 1966, this author was enrolled at this university and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in English in 1970. After leaving university, Stephen earned a certificate to teach high school. In 1971, King found a job as an English teacher at Hamden Academy and continued writing in his free time. He published his novel Carrie in 1974, and it was a huge success. The book told the story of a teenage girl who uses her telekinetic power to exact revenge on those who'd humiliated her. The novel called The Shining was published in 1977, and King became a popular horror writer due to this novel. The author published a novel called Pet Cemetery in 1983. This novel was nominated for a World Fantasy Award for Best Novel. Moreover, this novel was even made into a popular film of the same name. In 1987, King published a psychological horror novel, Misery. In 1977, Stephen took a position teaching creative writing at the University of Maine. And in 1982, he wrote a collection of four dramatic novellas, different seasons. Three of the four novellas were turned into movies, including Apt Pupil, The Shawshank Redemption, and Stand By Me. In 1986, Stephen published the novel It, which was the best-selling hardcover novel of 1986. From 1996 to 2008, he published several other successful novels, including The Green Mile, Black House, and Duma Key. In 2012, he published the novel called The Dark Tower, The Wind Through the Keyhole. During the next year, King published the book Joyland, and in 2014, he published the famous novel, Mr. Mercedes. Stuff that I've done is fairly twisted. Right. And it's the kind of thing like, if you had these fantasies in real life as opposed to my life, you'd go to a shrink. He's been a successful author and earned millions of dollars during his career. Stephen earned $35,000 from the sale of the story The Glass Floor back in 1967. Later, in 1971, this author earned $6,400 in annual salary as a teacher at Hamden Academy. The novel Carrie was published in 1973, which earned Stephen $400,000. Then, in 1996, he was paid $1.5 million for the rights to the novel titled Rose Matter. During 1999, King made nearly $40 million from his various novels, and from 2008 to 2013, this author made more than $130 million. Stephen King's total net worth is $500 million. Stephen and his wife own three houses. Their Victorian home was built in 1870 in Bangor, Maine. The house was their primary residence. However, it's now set to become a museum and a writer's retreat. Moreover, the couple owns a summer house in the lake region of Lowell, Maine. Their third house is a waterfront mansion on the Gulf of Mexico in Sarasota, Florida. Stephen King likely owns the following cars. A 1956 Plymouth Fury. a Dodge van, a 1953 Buick Roadmaster, a Mercedes, a 
a Cadillac Escalade.